In the 1970s, because of federal legislation, it became uh, important to understand archaeological sites in forested environments. And um, you can look uh, behind and you can see that you can't see the surface of the ground. So how do you find sites? And the only way to do that is to disturb the ground a little bit. Digging a small hole every 10 to 15 uh, meters, uh, sifting the contents of that hole through a screen and, and making a record of where you uh, dug that hole and whether you found something or didn't find it. Some stuff was definitely falling in as they yeah. probably, and that's Finding positive pits in one place and not in another, you can begin to define the limits of a site. To try and, and locate where sites might be when you can't when you have no surface visibility. Do you see these divisions as well? So For every pit that we excavate, we record the soil stratigraphy. Uh, we describe the soil. You can see the differences. Now, if you were to scrape this down with your shovel, it's a lot harder to see these differences than if you come up here and, and scrape across. Because if most of these are deposited horizontally, that's why we kind of cut across. Otherwise, you're going to smear them together. We're going to take this uh, Munsell soil chart and kind of compare where it's at. 10YR is what we use for this environment. 2-2? Two -two? Yep, looking about 2-2. Two -two. And so we just take the trowel, put some soil on it, and see where it's closest to, and mark it on the page. And there's right here. This is ours, number six. All right. Very cool. We're coming across them. We're finding artifacts. This shows uh, the positive STPs as pluses. These dots are negative STPs. So this is the type of map that we can create to show us the distribution of the material culture so that we're able to look at the map and see the distribution of material culture. 60 meters off the Muskegon Ridge and 100 and some meters off of the Mosquito Creek Ridge we, we found this little cluster which included a, a, a little stone cell, a bunch of pottery and some other stuff associated with it, and another really interesting kind of chopper tool. We don't, again, we see nothing like what we see up here. We might do some test excavation in, in these three areas to check them out. Shovel testing is really useful to discover stuff, but you can't learn much more than, than you know, saying, hey, people were here, but it's the only way you can find stuff in forested environments.